Hello, this is Dennis Susilski again. I am the blacksmith from Tucker Jones House and the creator of Tavern Puzzles. We are making video solutions of all of our puzzles. All of our designs have a printed solution. What we're going to do is we're going to read the printed solution and I will demonstrate the moves as that solution is read. Now we're doing this on an on request basis. The solution that's been requested now has been for the Satan Star. Now the Satan Star is actually one of my oldest designs. I designed that in 1982 and it's my first design that's not based on a historic design or an artifact puzzle. I designed it to work very smoothly and give a very nice demonstration. And we'll begin now where Don is going to read those printed solution and I will demonstrate the moves. Okay, Dennis, I'm ready to start. We're going to assume that anybody who's following this video has also looked at the printed solution so that they have identified all the parts of the puzzle. The object piece that we're removing is the shuttle. It's the long piece. It's not a ring like on some of our other puzzles. And the first step is to move the shuttle up through the center of the ring between the two posts at the top. So I'm going to elevate it up through the ring and past the two posts, but just slightly above the post so it'll go over smoothly. And the next step is to drop the shuttle over the post. You can do that on either side and the post will be passing through the interior of the shuttle. And then let the shuttle drop down below the ring. So here it comes down, past the post, and under the ring. Okay, now slide the shuttle to the outside and move around the outside of the eye. Okay, your puzzle should look like figure two if you're following along in the solution. This is your checkpoint. The shuttle should be hanging from the straight bar rather than the curved bar. Now step four is to slide the shuttle up to the end of the straight bar and through the eye. So we're going to go from the outside in through this eye. And then we're going to place the shuttle up through the interior of the ring and drop it over the far post far meaning farthest away from the shuttle. So you can see it's coming up through and just clearing the outside of that post and... Well Dennis you've already done step six. You've positioned the ring to sit flat on the top of the shuttle. Not quite. Here it okay, comes. Okay here it comes. We're tipping... There's the ring sitting on top of the shuttle. Okay now we're going to tip that ring through the interior of the shuttle one side at a time. So you elevate one side and let it drop through. This is the most uh, confusing move and the move that most people seem to miss the most often. Okay your puzzle should look just like it does in figure four now and you know what I think this puzzle is done. Lift the shuttle off both posts and withdraw from the eye. And there it is. Now what I'd like to do is do this in a nice fluid motion for you so you can see what a nice demonstration this puzzle can give. So we're going to go follow those moves and you'll notice I'm not touching the rings or the pieces. I'm letting everything fall into place under its own weight. And there we are. It's all back together now. Now it hangs nicest from this center ring. So if you have display stands or hooks to put your puzzles out on, hang it from that ring so it looks the best. It is a work of art, Dennis. Thank you. And remember, jiggle, don't force. Until next time.